It's Bill Blast, US2G. Blessings, blessings to the kings and queens. To God be the glory. First and foremost, I would like to say my condolences to the family of Earl Simmons, AKA DMX. You know, someone we all loved. And that goes out to the family, the friends, and you, the fans. Um, you know, this is, this is the biggest battle that I had with DMX and that's fighting for his life. You know, um, you know, it was a tough fight, you know, when he fought a good fight and he did his thing and now he's graduated to, to a better life than what we have right here. Even though we're mourning and we're praying for him, you know, he's going someplace, he's graduated from a place that we haven't got to yet. You know what I mean? So blessings to you, King. You know, you getting ready to go be with the King. So that's a big accomplishment in itself. You know, after the morning, we're gonna celebrate your life. You know what I mean? You know, there's always a time for everything, you know? And right now is the time to, you know, give praise to the Most High you know, for even allowing us to have DMX the Great in our lives. You know what I mean? Um, X was somebody personal to me, you know what I mean? We've battled numerous times, but this is the biggest battle we had together. You know, we fought this battle together, you know, for your life. And, you know, you, you, you won. Well, we won, you know what I mean? because you're now going to a better place, no more sickness, no more pain, no more hurt, no more none of the bull crap that we gotta go through while we here, cause you somewhere better than where we're at now, King. You heard? But I wanna, I wanna talk a little bit about something you said, you know? Not only, you know, you said it, but I felt it as well. And I, I remember you saying this, and I went and looked for this uh, clipping of, of what you were saying, about what I felt, what I'm about to talk about to you out there. And that's about praying, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I felt some type of way, you know, during this time when he went to the hospital. You know, although I know the people love him and, you know, they meant well for what they were doing, but, you know, it was a lot of wrong done in that, you know, and, and I'm not gonna say wrong by you, but it was just wrong in a sense of the way it was going about. And hopefully, you know, this will help people in the future to know how to handle situations like this because they're gonna come up over and over and over again, you know. And one of the things is that when DMX went to the hospital, you know, it was, it was just crazy, you know, like everybody had great concern. And, you know, once that happened, it's, that's when the lights started, the lights, cameras and action started rolling. Everybody want to be seen, everybody want to be heard, everybody want to do this and do that. Even with posting pictures, they, everybody want to post a show, yo, I'm part of DMX, yo, DMX is me and him, this is me and him. You know, all that is cool and all that is great, but what it is, what is started off as, it started out as if y'all were almost counting them out as if he died already. You know what I'm saying? Because the way it was happening, I'm like, yo, did he die? Like, I didn't know what was going on. I'm calling people telling me he died. And he didn't die, and then people telling me this and this and that, you know. And, yo, it's just too much. The energy you putting out there is too much. You can't put that energy out there. Fear and faith, ain't they don't occupy the same spirit. You know what I mean? If y'all had faith in him coming out of the coma and all of the things that he was in and going through, y'all supposed to pray and let that be that. Let God work. But y'all sitting here putting you know, more energies into this. And then praying with all these different spirits in public is like, that's crazy. I don't even understand that. Like, you're not even supposed to pray in public. You know, I, I understand if you do, go there, pray, say your thing, and get up out of there. You know, to show your faith that, yeah, we pray and, and, and you know, this is getting ready to happen. But then y'all want to start celebrating and doing all this stuff like, it made it seem like he passed away because that's what, you know, we do when, when people pass away, you know what I mean, sometimes, you know, and, you know, I'm, I'm not looking down on nobody for what they did. I'm not, you know, calling nobody out or feeling no type of way to nobody, but uh, it's just uh, just a way that I felt, 
And I'm going to show you what DMX said it in his own words. Because they asked him, yo, could you pray for me? And he was like, yo, people, y'all got to learn how to pray for yourself. You know what I mean? So we hear the dog talking about all this right now. So dog, let him know. Say what's up to everybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I continue to support. They've been riding with me from day one. You know what I'm saying? Ups, downs, good, bad. And I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that I come across, anybody, anybody I cross paths with, I know, you know what I'm saying? You know, when I see you, I, you know, I show the same love you give me, you know what I'm saying? You know, so, I do appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? You know. Right, right. Mm. Mm hmm You know, a lot of people are like, yo, you know, why don't you get on to say a prayer? You know, say a prayer. You know, say a prayer. And the reason I didn't or haven't is because I feel like this is the time when you should learn to pray for yourself. You know what I'm saying? God has given you time away from the distractions. You got to be on your shoe. <laughs> you know, away from the distractions, like that one. You know, um, away from the you know the everyday hustle, things that we we we. Came to think were important, we're finding out it haven't been that important at all. You know, haven't been that important at all. You know, and um, start to realize that it's really important. It's having our loved ones around us, having our loved ones with us. You know, close counters. You know, just just getting back to who we are, who we're supposed to be. The worst is peace. Be still. That's the word. Peace. Be still. I mean, that's a, that's in the Bible. Those are not my words. That's in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And we, we, we've gotten that. <laughs> he forced us into it, you know? But, you know, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen, you know? You know, listen. God's going to make you listen. Believe that. He's going to sit you down. He will sit you down. And that's just what it is. This is what it is. <clears throat> There's some that were uh, called home to God. And uh, others who became aware of the grace that God was willing to give them by bringing them back from the brink of death. Scarface. You know what I mean? Scarface. Making a recovery. Love you, brother. You know? On the other hand, Fred the Godson. He's with God. Mm, God's son. Come on. Come on. He's with God right now. You know? My condolences to the family. My condolences to the family of uh, everyone that's lost someone. You know, whether it's a family member or a friend. You know, we feel that pain. But we feel that pain because... We're going to miss them being with us. You know? If you, if you think about where they are, hey, they're in a better place. <laughs> they're in a better place. Hmm. <clears throat> the word says, when I next observed the oppression that take place under the sun, I saw the tears of the oppressed. And they have no one to comfort them. Their opportunities will power, but they have no one to comfort them. So I declare that the dead who have already died are more fortunate than the living who are still alive. But happier than both are those who have never existed, who haven't witnessed the terrible things that happened under the sun. Ecclesiastes 4. That's the word. I mean, like, like, like. The best thing that we can hope for, the most important thing we can hope for, or pray for, or ask for, is that our desires coincide with God's will. Because at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, it's going to be God's will. It's always going to be God's will. And you try to understand what his, you know, uh, why he does what he does, and it's going to end up with a headache. Just do the right thing. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Ecclesiastes 3. There is a season for everything. And a time for every matter under the heavens. A time for giving birth. And a time for dying. 
A time for planting and a time for uprooting what was planted. A time for killing and a time for healing. A time for tearing down and a time for building up. A time for crying and a time for laughing. A time for mourning and a time for dancing. A time for throwing stones and a time for gathering stones. A time for embracing and a time for avoiding embraces. A time for, ooh, ooh. A time for embracing and a time for avoiding embraces. What? Come on, come on, come on, come on. A time for searching and a time for losing. A time for keeping and a time for throwing away. A time for tearing, a time for repairing. A time for keeping silent and a time for speaking. A time for loving and a time for hating. A time for war, a time for peace. I mean, like I said, it goes back to, you know, you gonna start with a prayer, you gonna do this with a prayer? Yo. There are no words more powerful than the book. And your prayer, your own prayer, will do a lot better than someone else praying for you. Just like, just like X said, like this is this is not his words. These are God's words. And the scriptures that tell you, yo, you got, you know, pray in private. You know, praying in private is a, a sign of respect to show that you respect God and that you you have a relationship with Him. You know what I mean? You praying in in public with all these different spirits. You don't know if devil worshippers is out there. People who don't got no relationship with God. People who don't even care about God, who disrespect God, you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? So, like, these things is too much sometimes, uh, even though you may mean well, but that's it's just doing too much. You got to have your own relationship with God. That's the first and foremost thing, your own relationship. Second thing, when you pray, you're supposed to pray in private because that's you and God having time to communicate with each other. And, you know, once you start getting that relationship with God, then, you know, two, three or more like minds, you know, um, praying God is in his presence. But not know all these different energies and these different people. It ain't that, man. And I'm sorry to say that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like y'all made a mockery of, of, of the king, you know, the homie, you know, while he was in his stages of, of trying to transfer, you know, from one place to the next. You don't know how God is going to work with him. And nobody knows how God is going to work with him. You know, but one thing we know for sure, he's passed on and graduated from this life that we're in. His spirit is still here, but his spirit has soared. Um, his spirit has soared to a to a new height, to a new level, which we haven't even been able to get to yet. He's now with the greats like Pop. You know what I'm saying? Big. You know, um, um, Pun, Jam Master J. You know, in all the greats that's passed away, you know what I mean? You know, um, it's, this, is, this is life. And in life, we got to learn to appreciate us and appreciate us. We got to do things the right way, not the way we was taught or the way we see things and, you know, all this stuff. We got to celebrate different. We got to have different traditions that we could pass on to our kids. We don't want to pass on, you know, them doing the wrong things, them you know, connecting with, 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 with spirits that's, that's not for you, you know, and being, being, you know, a person in this situation, you know, especially with X, him being in the industry, you know, he gave a lot of information, especially to me about like how, you know, this industry is, it ain't all what it's cracked up to be. Everybody's sitting there trying to be this and be that, but yo, that, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't it. And to a certain extent, especially if you're selling your soul for that, you know what I mean? So, yo, if you don't take anything away from this, man, just take away, yo, learn how to pray, you know what I'm saying, in private, and pray. learn how to pray for yourself, you know what I mean? Let me get that phone, but yo, listen, man, X already told y'all, I love y'all, my condolences. Whoever hasn't... given their life to Jesus yet whoever hasn't surrendered all the way though there, there may be some of you who don't know how I'm going to walk you through that right now 
If you're serious about it. You don't got to be serious. But they, they, if, you know, if you don't want to do it, don't just, hey. But if you're serious about it, right now, giving your life to the Lord, say it with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I realize I'm a sinner. I repent for my sins. And right this moment, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. It's that simple.